Um, so I, I feel like at a, a pretty young age, I was aware of social status, and that was something that I wanted to pursue. I wanted to move up on that social ladder. Um, I wanted to be the person who everybody looked up to. So that's what I really pursued throughout those formative years of elementary school, middle school, high school. Um, I did that primarily in two ways. I mean, I, I gave everything that I had towards academics, um, and then I also played sports, so I, I, I put everything I had towards football. I mean, I, this whole time I thought that once I got to this step in my life, that I would be completely happy. I would be 100% um, the person who I had set out to be. And I got there and it just, that wasn't true. It just wasn't the case. At that point in my life, um, I was, I think a seed had been somewhat planted in me in the sense that I had pursued all these things relentlessly and they came to, to mean nothing to me. From there, I just, I kept relentlessly pursuing that social status. I wanted to move up on that social ladder and pursued a career that was a high paying career. Um, you needed to pass some exams. Um, I had done all the difficult weed out classes for that career, so it felt like the hard part of that was behind me. And I, I saw it all in front of me. It was, it was there for me to just grab and take hold of. And it just felt empty. It just felt like that still was not gonna fulfill me. So at that point, um, I had met a guy on campus that was evangelizing. Um, he, he asked if I would be interested in studying the book of John with him. Um, and I said, yeah, sure. At that, at that point in my life, I, I was pretty open to all kinds of ideas because what I had been pursuing relentlessly was not working out for me. Uh, so we started through the book of John, and at that point, I'd never opened the Bible before. So when we opened John 1 and we started reading it on the first day, it, it just spoke to me in a way that I had never read anything quite that clear before, quite that like authoritative and just true, just plainly and simply true. I, I was a good student, I read a lot of textbooks, um, but nothing like that. So I just kept going to the Bible study and we really only got about four weeks in and we came across John chapter four. And it's the story of a, a woman at a well. And Jesus tells her, um, those who drink of this water uh, will be thirsty. And I think he's alluding to the water of the world, the things of this world. But he says, if you drink the water that I give you, and he calls it the living water, you'll never be thirsty again. So at that point I said, I need, I need this living water that Jesus is talking about. And I, that's when I decided to give my life to him. So soon after I got saved, I was baptized in a church that does sprinkling. Uh, but after talking with, with Pastor Steve, um, I really want to do this immersion baptism because I really want to identify with Jesus' death, his burial, and his resurrection. And now I'm, um, I'm living a, Christ, a life for Christ. I'm not promoting myself, I'm promoting him. Um, and there's such joy in that. I mean, before, when I, when I didn't meet my expectations, I mean, it was just complete uh, misery, a failure, I felt like a failure. And even when I did meet my expectations, they did not, uh, they did not produce the results that I desired. But now, I mean, there's an assurance that everything's in God's hands. So by pursuing His goal, success or failure, I trust in Him and I trust that He knows how to glorify Himself best. And that's my goal as His servant. Um, my greatest joy is to do His will. Not my own, but give myself up to Him. Hi, my name is Riley and I'm a follower of Jesus Christ.